In this video, we'll demonstrate the process of how to activate, upgrade, and commission a SolarEdge inverter using the SolarEdge SetApp mobile application. Install SetApp from Google Play or the Apple Store. Once the download is complete, open the app. You are now at the SetApp login page. If you don't already have an account, tap Sign Up Here for Android devices or for an iOS device, tap Forgot Your Password. Tap Return to go to the login page and then tap Click Here. Once you have a SolarEdge account, log in using your SolarEdge credentials. Note that SolarEdge Setup is meant to be used by qualified solar installers only. Tap Start to continue. You'll be asked to allow Setup to use your location and camera. This is required for the commissioning process. Setup will automatically check the SolarEdge server for relevant inverter firmware updates. If one is found, the app will automatically download the new firmware version and store it locally on your mobile device. To ensure that you have the most up-to-date firmware, run Setup when you're connected to the internet prior to going to site. Scan the inverter's QR code. This can be found on the QR sticker on the side of the inverter. Move the on-off P switch to the P position and release within two seconds. The inverter will then create a Wi-Fi hotspot for setup to connect to. If you're using an iOS device, you'll need to approve connection to the inverter by tapping Join. Once Wi-Fi is connected, tap Continue to begin the inverter firmware upgrade. Note installing the firmware may take a few minutes. During this time, you can connect to another device. Once the firmware installation is completed, the inverter will enter an activation process. Once the activation process is completed, a confirmation screen is displayed. Tap Start Commissioning. From the commissioning menu, tap Country and Language. Here you set the country and grid. Note that by default, the SetApp interface language is synced with your phone's mobile device language settings. Tap the back arrow to return to the main menu. Next, we're going to configure communications. From the main menu, tap Monitoring Communications. The inverter automatically chooses the best communication option available. The different communication options depend on your region and hardware. For example, Ethernet or Cellular. If you wish to change the auto-selected communication option, tap Change Connection Type, then tap Yes. Here, you'll see the different options available. Tap the back arrow to return to the main menu. Tap Site Communication if the inverter needs to communicate with another inverter, meter, or any other on-site component for further configuration. Next, we'll pair the power optimizers to the inverter. The power optimizers will not start producing power until they have been paired. Pairing must be performed when the solar array is in good sunlight. From the main menu, select Pairing. Tap Start Pairing. Pairing will take a few minutes. During that time, you can go back to the main menu and perform other configurations. When Pairing Complete is displayed, tap OK to return to the main menu. Before producing power, the inverter will go through a 5-minute grid monitoring period. During this period, grid monitoring will be displayed at the top of the status screen. Let's go to the status screen to verify configuration and pairing. Verify that once grid monitoring is complete, you can see power increasing in the power box. Check to see if the number of power optimizers in the screen matches the number of power optimizers that are installed and connected to the inverter. Verify the connection to the monitoring platform. SOK in the server communication box signifies a successful connection. If additional components were configured, scroll down to verify that they were properly set. The system is now successfully configured and producing power. You're all set. You've activated, upgraded, and commissioned your SolarEdge three-phase inverter using Setapp.
Thanks for joining us today. Please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful videos.